I've got the 2024 Toyota Tacoma and I would never go back to the third gen Tacoma. Now, there's nothing wrong with the third gen. It's tried, it's tested. It's an awesome truck. I loved them when I had them, but man, is this truck so much better. So much better. And I have to say, I was a skeptic. You know, I made a lot of videos on the channel, not ne necessarily uh, shading a bright light on this new Tacoma, but man, after having it for a while, it is absolutely amazing. Smooth, quick, comfortable. But there's one thing about this truck uh, that I think I must be wrong. I don't know. And that is the size of it. Now, I do know that Toyota increased some dimensions on this truck, right? I mean, obviously, there's more headroom. I mean, I'm sitting right now at the height that I normally drive at, and I feel like there's a whole sky above me in here. And I don't have a sunroof. It's amazing to me what increasing the height of the roof has done to the way that this truck feels. Now, let me say, I'm not a fan of the exterior appearance of it. You know, what looks like a backwards baseball cap that they put up on the top. But nonetheless, they certainly did achieve the goal. And now I think somebody that's vertically gifted could fit comfortably in this truck. No longer would I say that this truck is made for somebody, you know, six foot, maybe six foot one or lower. Ideally for somebody that's my height, five foot nine and a half. Now, if you happen to be a vertically gifted person, you can fit in this truck. You're no longer gonna feel like you're being squeezed into a sardine can in here. Unless, of course, you're sitting in the back. That's a whole nother thing. They still have a ways to go before the back of this truck is big enough, in my opinion. But of course, then they're going to start encroaching on the Tundra, and that's a fine line when you have a dual model line, I guess. Now, back to the size of this truck. I don't know if it's just an illusion for me, maybe because it has the hood scoop on it. This is the Sport, the TRD Sport. Uh, and that makes it look beefier in the front, which gives me a, a bigger feel. But the front end feels bigger. It feels more Tundra-like in size. I just pulled up behind a Tundra a few minutes ago, and I, thought, I felt like, you know, I'm not really that much smaller than the Tundra now. I know it is, but it doesn't feel that way. Of course, in the bed, it's deeper now than it used to be. They gave us more... Uh, tub space, I guess, whatever you want to call that, depth in the bed. Uh, not really a big deal to me, but it does make the truck look a bit taller, I think. I really believe that the reason that I get this illusion that the truck is so much bigger, and when I say that, I do mean a lot bigger. It feels a lot bigger to me. And not just my own opinion. I've had others who have seen the truck that have commented and asked me, did they make the Tacoma bigger? So it's not just me that's seeing this, right? But I think the body itself, what they've done with the fender flares in particular, they stick out a little bit more. They're certainly beefier than what the third gen was. And they give the truck a broader, more, I'll say it, more Raptor kind of look, slightly, if you really look at it. Now, I'm not saying this is Toyota's answer to the Ford Raptor, but you kind of get that feeling a little bit when you look at the, the width of this truck, particularly looking off on the sides, because we do have those bigger fender flares and they have vents in them in the front. So we've got some slats in there for a little bit of a different look. It's for cooling, of course. But nonetheless, it gives the truck a beefier, more aggressive feel to it. Now, I know a lot of people have commented that it's nothing more now than a mini Tundra. Well, hasn't the Tacoma always been a mini Tundra? I mean, there were a lot of things shared between the two of them over the years. More so now, I think. Another thing that I've noticed, of course, are the door handles. It has the big, square, beefy, tundra-like door handles on it. And when you add all these things together, I think that's what kind of gives you the, the illusion that the truck is a lot bigger than it used to be. 
even the wheels they've put on here the wheels and tires make the truck look a little bit bigger i think mine have 18s i know they could be bigger they could be 19s or 20s which i would never put on a on a tacoma i did once a few years ago one of the biggest wheel and tire setup mistakes i've ever made you need that tread wall so that you can absorb the bumps and you don't get it when you go with a 20 inch wheel big mistake um the interior i don't know it makes it because of the redesign in here and the way that they've redone things the truck feels wider to me on the inside when i've had someone in here sitting next to me you know the old battle between elbows on the uh, center console area it's a little bit bigger it's not a huge difference. It's certainly not tundra like there. It has a massive uh, surface on that center console pad or elbow pad in the tundra. It's not like that at all. Would be interesting if it was. Um, but they did make it bigger and it feels beefier in here. The treatment on the center console area with the bigger knobs, bigger buttons, and of course, the bigger, beefier shift selector. For you folks out there that hate those dial shift selectors like they have in the Ram trucks, you're gonna love this one because it's huge compared to what we had in the third gen. Do I like it? Uh, I don't hate it and I just noticed, it's funny, the things you, you see when, uh, when you're not used to a, a new vehicle. It actually says TRD on the shift knob towards me in the front. It's in red, I had not noticed that before, uh, but pretty cool, nice touch. Also, speaking of nice touches, we have the engine stop and start switch, you know, the push button start. That is now in red. Maybe it's been before, I don't know. It wasn't on my TRD off-road, the 2023, but this one is red and uh, it says TRD on it. I, I will say the thing that's thrown me a little bit in this truck, you know, the push start used to be down a little bit lower, like above your knee. Now it's up above or, or sitting right beside the radio screen. I can't tell you how many times I've gotten in the truck to start it. And I'm always pushing where there now is an empty cubby. I do like that they put a cubby there, by the way. Very small, not a lot you could put in there. But hey, the more storage, the better in the Toyota Tacoma for sure. Uh, one other thing I want to mention, the glove box in here, as I open it up and take a look, much more accessible, does seem to be bigger. Again, might be a bit of an illusion. And of course, we have storage up above that glove box, i.e. the Toyota Tundra. Love the way they've got that set up. Just an awesome job. So anyway, I think it feels like the Toyota Tacoma is much bigger than it really is. It will certainly suit the vertically gifted out there and you deserve to give it a try. If you're in the market for a, a mid-sized truck, even though I know pricing is up and I, I did a video about pricing, don't think you have to pay that enormous price tag for this truck, you don't. Thanks for watching. Stay safe out there. Bye.